Praise be Jesus and Mary. Recently, my wife and I were at a Catholic marrying conference, and while we were there, we joined the ancient order of the Confraternity of the Most Holy Rosary. Each person who joins receives a blessed rose. Father told us that, we, that the rose petals have been known to bring about miracles of both conversion and healings. Deacon Dave Arling was supposed to be next to me at the conference. Um, he wasn't able to be there because um, he was very sick in the hospital. He had, had been having a battle with cancer and was fading in and out of consciousness. We didn't know if he was going to make it or not. At the close of the conference on Sunday, well, Terry, the ones charged the vendors, well, she also enrolled in the confraternity, and uh, she took a rose petal to him. She said he was, she wasn't sure they could hear her because he was fading in and out of consciousness, and then at the time, uh, her eye, his eyes were closed. She gave him a kiss on the forehead and said, I love you. And immediately, he opened his eyes real big and said, God loves you too, Terry. She left and went home, thinking that he most likely said his last words there. A few days later, we contacted Terry to see how he was doing. We've been praying for him. Um, she said that very same day that she took him that rose petal, he started getting better, and that he made a full recovery without any medical intervention at all. And uh, that same deacon has been asking me for years to paint the image of Our Lady of Champion. Now I am. I'm doing it both for him and for Our Lady because that previous year, I finally realized I was healed of long-term COVID on the feast day of Our Lady of Champion, October 9th. It was, it was Sunday, October 9th, 2022, and listening to the proclamation of the gospel according to St. Luke on the 10 lepers, I suddenly realized how special that one who returned glorifying and praising God was. I, the one that fell on his face before Jesus thanking him. I suddenly realized he was disposed to receive a greater measure of grace. He most likely is in heaven. And Jesus says, well, where are the other nine? Ten were cleansed, weren't they? Is there none to return and give glory to God except this foreigner? Well, he was special. There was something that was really good inside of him that made him that special, where he could receive that grace. At that moment, I prayed, if you who were healed of leprosy and return immediately to give thanks to God, are in heaven, ask Jesus to heal me too, or to please just give me some relief from this. I always have a, a little less of the intensity of it in the mornings, throughout the afternoon, but the, as it got closer to evening, it was really, really bad. Burning in the brain, um, my whole nervous system was racked. I had trouble thinking, had trouble speaking. I had trouble even turning on and off the lights. Uh, I would miss it. I misjudged the, the distance from here to there, and I tried several times and still miss it. Uh, it was uh, very, very difficult living through that. But immediately I felt the symptoms leave me when I asked, and tears welled up my eyes. I cried on and off all that day. And uh, you know how St. Liguori says, all graces flow through Mary? I believe Our Lady of Champion obtained for me the grace to have a deeper perception of the gospel that particular Sunday, and let me, and it also helped me with the grace to think like that, to pray like that. Well, I'm very grateful to be here, and I'm very grateful to be working on this new painting. God bless you, and pray for me, please.